everyone. It's Saturday the 17th. I had yesterday's dates messed up. I thought it was the 17th yesterday. No, it's today is the 17th. Anyways, uh, we survived last night's uh, big rain uh, event. Uh, we have more coming. Uh, thunderstorms from the sounds of things this morning. I'm hearing rumbles of thunder and stuff. Despite all that, um, there are a few people here in the campground. And, uh, hang on a minute. I was about to spill my coffee all over myself. Um, group camping, people partied till about 3, 3.30 in the morning. They quieted down, but some kept going, but not loud. Anyways, uh, good on them, man, toughing it out like that. Uh, a lot of people didn't. Um... The weather is all over the place, so what are you going to do? Um, other news, I got the bike loaded back up, which was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be with the bent handlebar, so that's a good thing. Um, so we're headed off to the uh, to the shop uh, in, uh, it's not quite in Owen Sound, I actually know where this shop is now. Um, I've been by it and never thought to, you know, I would have never thought to go in there or anything unless I obviously needed a part or something, right? So, anyways, uh, we're headed there. We're going to go pick up the parts. And, uh, yeah. Sorry about that. You guys won't really notice it, but, it, you know, every time I get into the truck, it's the, the truck... Um, automatically uh, goes off again I'm back I don't know what to tell you it keeps shutting off when I was trying to do uh, the directions and I was trying to change the directions but for some reason the GPS won't let me today so anyway I'm going the way I know how to go it wants me to go through Sable Beach and I don't want to do that so not that it's going to be hugely busy on a Saturday morning but I just uh, I'd rather go back the back way through uh, Wire uh, Wireton so and I mean, cutting through Wyerton is not really a big deal. So it'll also let me know if the gas station is closed there. Because I heard it closed. And that's going to be a problem for gas for the boat if I want to gas up there. So gas was three cents cheaper in uh, Southampton. But I don't know if I want to travel all that far to get gas. By the time I saved the three cents, I'll have used it in the pickup truck, right? So. Anywho, had a jackass this morning come through with one of those little Honda, tiny little things. Of course, he's got the exhaust uh, so loud. Uh, pay attention to me, pay attention to me. Like, fuck are you people stupid? Anyways, you with the little black Honda uh, here at Sable Beach, uh, White Sands Campground on Saturday the 17th, you're a fucking idiot if you ever see this. And I don't care if you ever become a follower or not. There's kids in this fucking campground, fucktard. I don't know where he is. I think he's staying in a group camping in the back. Anyways, I texted uh, Lisa to let, let her know about this jackass. Because there's a ton of kids. He's left the park for now, but he'll be back, you little jackass. So off to Advanced Marine, and then pick up the part, and then head back over to uh, Sable Beach. Uh, holy fuck, hey, look at all the people coming in. In 100 meters, turn left onto Bruce Road 13. Take the next left onto Bruce Road 13. And there we go. 
there's a whole bunch of kids and cars. One thing I'm finding about camping here, and this is not a racist thing at all, but it's all people from other places. I don't see hardly any white faces. I don't care either way, but I mean, uh, um, I've noticed that like a lot of Asian, South Asian maybe, some of them like Indonesian or something, or, or uh, Filipino. Um, but there's a lot of them. Anyway, they're all friendly people. It's not anything big deal. But um, I've been rather surprised uh, by that. I like the idea. I mean, that well, the people that had the problem with the bear, the bear issue last year, like next to me, they were uh, they were from somewhere else, Asian, and. Uh, GPS, I know. <laughs> um, yeah, so they were South Asian, and uh, of course they—they're the ones I told the story already that uh, um, had laid out this beautiful buffet of food. You think there? I already know GPS. Gosh. Anyway, um, so yeah, they're the ones that had this beautiful buffet laid out and then of course the bear and all that so anyways uh next day i mean once it was day i gave them a quick lesson and different safety things for camping and uh they listened to attentively and i'll bet that they're going to do that from now on and i hope the fuck if you guys ever see this summer of 2023 next to camp 50 i hope i see you guys again to the left of spry lake um I don't think there's a public launch on Spry Lake. Now, mind you, there's a campground here, so you can uh, uh, I'm pretty sure you can still pay like 10 or $15 uh, for launch. Slow down. Well, we're doing 70 there, buddy. Which is what the speed limit says. I can assure you, I'm happy to do the speed limit. Especially with my ATV on the back in the condition that it is. Anyway, that wasn't hard to load. I mean, the bar is bent, but everything still works. So, and uh, I'm not going to do that thing on a tilt where I'm trying to make it easier myself. I rode up with a bent bar with the truck sitting flat on those ramps, so no issues. I'm not gonna do this thing where I put the truck up and try to make it easier, because all it did was let it roll off. You know, well, I let it roll off with my stupidity. That's more accurate. Anyway, slept like a log. I'm surprised I'm up so early and feeling so fresh. Um, I didn't fall asleep till at least three o'clock and I woke up at eight, so five hours. And I took my pills like I'm supposed to, so it's not like, uh, you know, I have anything different going on, but I do know I wanted to get this done because of the rainstorm and everything. So get the parts, go to, you know, the, the dealer in uh, Sabo Beach, give him the parts, drop the bike off. I don't expect he'll be working on it today. Swampy Lake is all looking less swampy. I used to cast fish. Uh, there's a little place you turn off to the left here where there's a little bridge that goes over the river that cuts through this swampy area on the left. Get the ATV back, we'll go riding up here. There, I just missed it. There's people fishing too. The problem with there, well, was the problem with us. I can't even remember where we got, I think we got him from Tom's bait up here in wireless. I heard Tom passed away a few years back, so, but I still call it Tom's. 
Anyways, uh, we got in minnows there. We were fishing with minnows, kept casting into the river, and we kept seeing all these little turtle heads pop up. Well, of course, they were snappers, and they were doing the weirdest thing. We tossed them, you know, tossed the line with the minnow on it. They'd bite the stomach like a little circle, and then that'd be it. And then, of course, I had already told the story where I accidentally caught one. And luckily for me, the conservation officer was right there when it happened. And uh, he told me not to fret, worry. He says this happens. So he says, cut cut the line as close as you can uh, and uh, to his mouth and uh, safely. And obviously put him back in the water. And he said that, uh, you know, it'll rust. Uh, excuse me. It'll rust out the, uh, so he'll be fine. Because he got her down pretty deep. There was no way I was going to get her in there. But there was no blood, no damage. So um, the conservation officer felt that uh, he was going to be fine. And then, of course, by the size of that turtle, um, um, He said it was 100 years old, and I'm going to say it was about the size of a basketball, you know, flattened out like a turtle more, but he says around that size, around 100 years, and I said, well, I hope the hell he does, excuse me, survive. I'd hate, I would, that would have upset me to see that turtle die, but no, he told me, he says it happens all the time, he sees it, and he says, uh, you know, I guess he can't tell me if the the turtles lived or not anyways we're coming up on 10 minutes so please like share and subscribe i'm doing 10 minute versions of these uh it's a lot easier for editing okay so uh, please like share subscribe if you want to donate to my sabo beach uh, everything going wrong money wise i broke my glasses that's why i got these glasses on okay everyone be good be good to your fellow human i'm driving so i can't take my hands off